the role of an exercise physiologist is, is to help you improve your, your physical and mental health um, through a, an individualised evidence-based exercise program uh, that takes into account your barriers, um, your motivation, your exercise history um, and all the, the, the unique circumstances that are affecting you at this point in time. My name is Simon Rosenbaum, I'm an exercise physiologist and a senior research fellow at the University of New South Wales and the Black Dog Institute. So you might be referred to an exercise physiologist for a number of reasons. Um, generally it's, it's uh, for chronic disease or some sort of uh, um, chronic issue that's affecting health. So that can be the physical health, so things like uh, diabetes or, or cancer or, or poor function, um, but also increasingly for, for mental health issues, so things like depression, anxiety and also post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, so exercise physiologists might work as, as part of a multidisciplinary team in a, in a general practice or in, in private practice or, or hospitals, a range of different settings. My name is uh, Craig Sample. Um, I'm a former police detective in the New South Wales Police Force. Uh, 25 year career I had in the police force. Uh, I was medically retired about six years ago uh, as a result of post-traumatic stress disorder and also major depressive disorder. So exercise phys physiology was a really, really important part of my recovery process. When you think about preparing yourself to see an exercise physiologist, I would, I would keep in mind how you prepare to see any other health professional, and that's probably not a whole lot. Um, you might think about your, your medical history, or the reasons why you're there, or why you've been referred to see the exercise physiologist, but really you don't need a whole lot of preparation at all. Um, turning up in, in loose fitting, comfortable clothes is probably a good idea, but in many cases you may not actually do any exercise for the first couple of sessions. And, and it's really important to remember that the, the exercise physiologist is there to, to understand your situation and to help you as best they can to, to get active um, for whatever that means for your current situation. I learnt strategies about um, mindfulness, learning meditation techniques and also about um, having uh, a, a pleasurable activity plan. In terms of what to expect from your first session with an exercise physiologist, it's really going to be about uh, the exercise physiologist understanding your situation, understanding your medical history, your exercise background, what you like, what you don't like, and how together you can come up with a program that fits around your unique situation. Progress with my post-traumatic stress disorder was complicated by the fact by the depression, that the symptoms of depression would sometimes hold me back. Uh, as far as you know, robbing me of the motivation and initiative to get up and work really hard at the strategies I was being taught. You know, I had real issues with um, my energy levels and concentration and things like that. I was uh, introduced to yoga as a, as a way because I'm, I'm, you know, exercise is really, really important as part of recovery and, and so is mindfulness and yoga is sort of a combination of the two. It's a really good way to settle, you know, a lot of those anxious responses that we get from post-traumatic stress symptoms but there's also benefits that can happen following one single session. So for example, we know that if you manage to, to get up out of bed and go for a walk or go for a run, that we can sometimes feel that immediate benefit where we feel that that runner's high that people talk about. Um, really the aim of, of seeing an exercise physiologist is to maximise both those short-term and long-term benefits that you can get from engaging in an appropriate, sustainable exercise program. You know, in the police force, sometimes we get, we, we get ourselves into a combat mindset where we get ourselves super aroused with adrenaline and, and you know being able to make sure that we're ready for the risk that we're about to be exposed to but it's really important to learn techniques to bring yourself down from that combat mindset at the end of a shift as well and that's where things like meditation, exercise and yoga can play a really important role. My top tips for recovery are firstly to seek help and talk to your health professionals. Um, when it comes to exercise, to, to remember that any activity is better than none. Um, and finally, to, to take the first step, which is often the hardest part about commencing an exercise program.